Welcome Taurus. Okay, so we're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with at the minute and using the Avalon Magic Cards and the Wild Child Oracle Cards, we're going to find out. And the other thing is, I have these cards here that I was given a really long time ago and I don't remember the name of them because um, I no longer have the box that they came in, but that's these cards, okay? I would call them the no-name deck, but they do have a name, so that wouldn't be entirely true. Okay, let's get into it, Taurus. Three cards for Taurus, please. One. One card. Okay, so, mm, interesting. Two. Okay. Okay, so Taurus here. Let's have a look. Avalon Magic. He's writing on the back, which I will read, but I want to get, um, see what I get from the picture first, which generally is not even what the writing is relating to, but that's okay because it's an extra message, right? And I feel like with this one, this is about you um, embodying. It's, it's because I'm seeing this as feathers here, so I feel like I don't know. I just wonder if for some of you, you're trying to do something that isn't you, or um, or it could even be that this is about you needing to take flight over something. Okay, um, yeah. So interesting. So let's have a read. The other ones are. I can't see the writing, but I can see the pictures. But we'll just start with this one. Spend time reclaiming your balance. There you will find peace. Okay. So maybe it's about you taking a rest. Well, obviously. Reclaiming your balance. So, yeah, I suppose with this, you know, maybe not doing something that's you. Um, it's put you out of kilter a little bit. Yeah, but give me two cards for this card here. For Taurus. We've got True. Mm, interesting. And we've got Gentleness. Ah, okay. Okay. Spend time reclaiming your balance. There you will find peace. So there's obviously been something really rough go on for you. Um, whether that be at work or um you know in the home relationship friendship family ship um you know it could be spiritually whatever something's not gone good um i want to say with this trove because there's all these little treasures here and um being put in this treasure treasure trove i want to say is be mindful not to lock them away um, because, or not lock yourself away because you are a treasure. The interesting thing also is that the crow um, represents for me these thoughts, right? Um, and so I feel like maybe, like, I love how this <laughs> gem is in its mouth so it can't squawk like it usually would. Um, so I just feel like maybe keeping an eye on this mind and the overthinking um, to have a bit of rest from that, to have a bit of peace from that, okay? Um, yeah, and you can do that lovingly. Be loving with yourself about it. Be kind with yourself about that, okay? So let's have a look further into Trove here for you. Two cards for Trove. The Taurus, please. One. I don't know what it is yet. No, there it is. Okay, we've got the King of Hearts here. Oh, um, yeah, this is um, this King of Hearts here, right? He is a very emotionally stable. He's um, emotionally mature. Okay, 
the king of hearts he knows how to refuel he knows where his limits are he knows how much to give and he knows when it is that he needs to take time for himself so that he can actually um you know get himself back together in order to proceed forward he doesn't give more than what he's able to give than what he has okay he knows and even when he is giving because he is a very generous soul but even when he is giving he um he doesn't give too much he does have his limits and he knows where that is and he does that lovingly and um yeah so this is what i feel like is important for you to do for yourself okay know your limits and make sure you take the time to um to find, get this piece to rejuvenate okay um and we also have the magician here now um i feel like you have everything that you need in order to um do what it is that you need to do but also to proceed forward so I feel as though for some of you you may feel like if you take time out to do what it is that you need to do to rejuvenate that you're gonna um not be able to progress like you would if you kept on going but the fact of the matter is that by doing this you're going to be even more productive okay for a start um, but you actually have everything you need. It's only you believe you don't. Okay, so I feel like this is quite important for you to um, do. We also have gentleness here. And yeah, there's been something that has kind of like really cracked you open um, and um, shattered you, I feel. Okay, so this, um, you're needing to put yourself back together. Um, and the time that is required for that to happen is however long it takes don't be too impatient with yourself don't be hard on yourself okay give yourself the tender love and care that you need in order to make this happen because um if you try and get out there too soon or um don't take the time that is needed in order for you to um repair and heal um then you I feel like for some of you, it, this could actually be maybe an accident, um, could be heartbreak, but for some of you, this could be physically, um, so you have to, uh, the thing is, Taurus, that I feel like you feel as though there's heaps, um, heaps of pressure on you, because whether it be for work, to take care of the family, um, it's important for you to utilize all your sources to help you here, okay? Because they are there and, and, you know, people around you are willing to help. It's just whether you'll accept the help or not. And I feel like it's necessary because if you don't, it's actually going to delay the healing process for you, okay? So two cards for gentleness for Taurus, please. We've got the tower. Yeah, something happened um, pretty suddenly and we've got the star. Yeah, there was something that happened really suddenly. Um, it took you unawares and um, it's it's knocked your socks off big time. Um, this is such a different tarot card and I love like all the different decks because they give different messages. Oh, we've got these flames coming out of here. Oh, well, actually, no, I don't know if it's a flame. It looks, it looks like birds, birds' wings. Which is really interesting because the feathers are here. And when you think about it like a bird with a broken wing, for example, it needs to rest. It needs the time to rest. It can't fly too soon. And this is the, um, the dominant message here. Do not try and fly too soon. Yeah. After this, um, after this tower moment, because um, even though um, it's been quite, um, it's really stirred things up and it's been a bit of a ground shaking, uh, well not a bit of, sorry, that was minimising what, what has actually happened here, but it really has caused, um, yeah, caused 
everything do you know what do you know what i feel like this this is very important because i know that this is part of the tower message but i feel like it's super important for you okay the foundation was not stable to begin with this being the foundation okay there were cracks in the foundation which caused the tower to topple okay now here's the thing Taurus that I'm getting about this is that there was something there's something that has happened your intuition was telling you um giving you messages that potentially you may have been ignoring I, I'm not saying Taurus that this is all your fault and if only you had listened it would all be okay no because there was already already cracks in the foundation to begin with okay but I just want to say to you to trust your intuition, okay? Trust your internal guidance system because it is there for a reason. We have this intuition. We have these instincts, um, you know, to guide us. So make sure that you're looking at, okay, yes, I, I ignored that. I gave the benefit of the doubt. Um, you know, there are these things here that um, I could have paid attention to, but I didn't because I didn't want to be mean or, you know, it was just easier not to. And this has been the result. So, you know, um, in this regards, I feel like, um, yeah, also with the magician here, I feel like, this is saying you have all you need to make the right decision, to go in the right direction, um, but it's actually utilising those abilities um, so that you can proceed forward with the rebuilding of this foundation that you need to do, but you need time to do that, okay? Um, and we also have the star here, which is just beautiful to have after the tower. You know, the, the, the star is this, you know, having hope, having faith, you know, um, and also you know, the star is renewing, right? It's you know, when you at the night sky you see the brightest star in the sky, right? And it gives you this sense of like oh, wish upon a star. Yeah, to wish upon a star and um so I feel as though this is about you. Taking the time to see the possibilities, right? Actually being aware um, to these possibilities of what could be now, okay? Um, yeah, I also feel like for some of you, this is there's a bit of an awakening happening as well. So the next card here, this is really interesting because this here I saw initially when I first saw it, I saw it as a pentacle underneath this tree here but now it's a maze well it always was a maze but I'm seeing the maze in it but I also feel like there's some sort of symbology symbology is that a word or it's symbolic um or it's some kind of symbol from ancient times I do not know what that is there it reminds me of a lamp though so I wonder if there's going to be a light bulb moment for you yeah I feel like this also um, could be to do with the path that you can go along. And, you know, not everything is always clear when we walk along a path, right? Um, especially when, um, say, like at night time, because this is what the star did come up with the star. So I'm glad it's come through again um, that, um, you know, at night time, it's not the path isn't clear. We can't always see in the darkness. Yeah. Um, and but. We know where we're headed. We know where the destination is. We're walking in the dark for a reason, okay? And it's to get to the light. It's to get to our destination. It's to get to where we want to go. But yes, there are some things that are hidden. And um, this is where your intuition is crucial for you to draw on this. Okay, so this says it is only when we accept vulnerability that we are truly brave. Rise above your fears. Yeah because you're afraid to walk, um, because you can't see what's coming. And that's that's understandable, you know. Of course, we we all feel like that um, to some degree, you know, at different points in our lives. Um, and, you know, when you're walking a path that isn't showing, that takes courage. 
No, so I think it's important for you to give yourself credit um, because, yes, you feel vulnerable, but remember you're also brave. Okay, so this is, um, yeah, really important for you to to celebrate your, your courage. Okay, so one more card. We've got one out already. Okay, so the first one out here is flow. Go with the flow. Yep, and you know what? It's going to lead us to a waterfall. Yeah, we know. We know that, that at some point in the river there's going to be rapids and they're going to be rough. There's even going to be a waterfall and we might fall, we might drop. But what happens is we start to swim and we come to the surface. We head towards that light, yeah? And, and we um, make sure that we rise above water level so that we can breathe again, okay? And I feel like this is... Totally symbolic of what is happening here for you. Okay, rise above your fears. We have the fear of drowning when we're falling down the waterfall. And that's a real fear, right? It's a real possibility because we can drown. But we do what we can to get to the surface, okay? Um, so this is what is important for you here, Taurus, to do what you can to get to the surface. Okay, because what is going to happen is you'll continue down the river okay, and things will calm again, all right, we have the three of pentacles here, so if you need people to assist you along this journey, make sure you're reaching out for help, don't try and do it all yourself, especially recovering from this Patel moment and rebuilding this foundation, okay, a builder generally has a team of people that he is, is working with him, he'll have, you know, the people who come and lay the concrete, he'll have, um, you know, the people who, the the builder will bring in an electrician, he'll bring in a plumber, he's not, you know, unless he's multi-talented or multi-skilled, he's not going to do all these things himself, okay, he might even bring in a bricklayer, um, he'll bring in a, um, someone who decorates the place, you know, he's going to bring in these other people and utilize their skills to help him, so this is what you need to do here, Taurus, okay, so one more card for flow, for Taurus, please. Excellent, seven of swords, okay. I think some of you feel kind of like a little bit, maybe a bit like the world is working against you kind of thing, or people are going against you. Um, and I just want you to know that you have more of a handle of things than what you realise. Um, but yes, yeah, some of you may feel a little bit attacked, to be honest. And um, this, though, could be your thoughts telling you, you can't do this. Look what happened when you tried last time. Um, you know, and, and oh, oh my lord, I've just dropped all the cards, you know, but it's like, what have you done? See, and this is representative of this tower moment, right? It's like one wrong move and everything goes to custard, everything crumbles. And what did you do? You know, so this is either people coming at you or you coming at yourself. Either way, rise above it, rise above it. You know, what's done is done. It doesn't matter about blame, doesn't matter about fault. Okay, because we can sit there and do that till the cows come home. Fact of the matter is, the cows are going to come home. We're going to be miss the opportunity to um, to welcome them. You know, so at the end of the day, rise above that, okay, and do what you need to do in order to proceed forward. Let me pick up the cards here, Taurus. Okay, got my life sorted now. Okay, so the other thing I'm just getting with this as well is there's sort of no point in doing this, um, you know, oh, funny you got that checked out or, you know, or taking on other people's opinions of things such as told you so. So, yeah, uh, rise above that. Okay, so the other card we have here under... It is only when we accept vulnerability that we are truly brave. Rise above your fears. And these could also be your fears coming at you as well. Um, is fruit of knowledge. Oh, look at this apple here. It's blue. Fruit of knowledge. I don't feel like it's from the earthly plane. Um, I feel like this is from your higher self, actually. 
and you can see the snake here gliding right past it. It doesn't even notice it because it's transparent. It's not even visible to the snake. Um, I also feel like maybe this is the snake and the apple working together. Like they're not actually enemies or they're not, I don't know, there's something about that. I feel like things aren't as they seem, is what I want to say here. Anyway, Fruit of Knowledge. Two cards for Fruit of Knowledge for Taurus, please. Not to be afraid. I feel like this is, don't be afraid. Goodness me, there's everything coming out all over the shop. Okay, so we've got the Hierophant here. I'm putting these ones back because there was too many. We've got the Hierophant here. Yeah, see, this is tapping into this higher self, right? into a higher power to get the knowledge that you need okay because this is where it comes from um because the truth of the matter is that we have the answers within ourselves okay and um we can tap into that but we need to get to this place of peace in order to do that okay um so okay the world yes things are turning around Things are turning, okay? There's, there's been an ending of the cycle. This is the ending of the cycle here. And ready for a new beginning, okay? Because when the world is the last um, card in the, you know, in the, the major arcana. So where do we start again from that? We start again with a leap of faith onto a new journey. And this is what I feel like is here for you. Um, and it's a matter of you... Pulling on everything you need, having the faith, having the faith that you are divinely guided, okay, because you absolutely are here. Um, it's your fears that are getting in the way here, Taurus, okay. Um, and I just feel like this lady here, look at this, you know, the thing is, like, she looks so sad. You know, she's got a crown on her head and she's not embracing the energy of who she truly is. Um the other thing I want to say is maybe don't keep, get caught up in image um, that things may appear to be a certain way or appear to be really good, but it's only appearances. So the other thing with that is don't compare yourself to other people because they may be putting on a show that everything is fine and dandy and absolutely wonderful and it's all a load of rubbish. It's just for show. So yeah, that's one thing. But let's see what the card says because often the messages are different than what I get. Be enchanted with your life's potential. Seek and find. Know and discover. Ooh, this is like... This is like a an exciting new journey of what are you going to find out now? And this is the thing with the fears as well, right? Of um, where's that card? I don't know which one it was. Uh, the flow card here. It's like, oh, you know, not, not don't fear the waterfall. Um, get excited about it because it's like, where am I going to get to after the waterfall? And after these rapids, oh, what's going to be around the corner here? You know, um like get excited about these things because you know the lessons that you do learn um are valuable to this journey of your life so i feel like this um yeah we've got reflection here you know this is something that you can reflect upon look at the journey so far and where it is that you've been reflect on that because also look at this what what this swan, this beautiful swan is seeing in the reflection is this ugly duckling, right? It's not seeing the beauty of, of itself. And um, I feel like this is absolutely true to you, Taurus, that um, you need to be a bit more kinder to yourself. Not a bit more, a whole lot more, because I think you're pretty hard on yourself here. Um, so, you know... <laughs> Yeah, this is you birthing a new you, right? Um, understanding that at the beginning of journey, no matter what has caused that, and what, you know, even though it may have been a really ugly transition or the ending was really ugly, potentially, what you have ahead of you to grow is absolutely beautiful. If you choose 
for it to be it's entirely up to you and this is the thing you know this this is in your hands this um what are you how how are you going to make everything work for you now okay because this really awful thing has happened and um you have the power to turn that into something beautiful and it might not be clear as to what how that is going to happen but it can okay next card for reflection we've got oh, we've got two cards i feel like i want to take these because i feel like i need to <laughs> wow oh there's no denying this this is this beautiful creation now what order did they come out in sorry we have the two of hearts i wanted to, the other card just to see what this was representing and these two fell out so there's no denying it okay we have the four of wands and we have the ace of hearts so this is a uh, new beginning a new relationship that will lead to marriage <laughs> um there's no denying this okay this is this is uh, yeah what do you what do you say about it right this is this is a new family this is creating a new family a new home for your family even maybe you know um so yeah I do, I do want to say though Taurus that for some of you um if this is not about a relationship it could be about a renewing of an existing relationship okay so finding the spark again okay going back to um what it was that made you fall in love in the first place and reigniting that okay but you really can apply it to anything in your life be it business or you know whatever it is but um this could also be about you falling in love with yourself again and first and foremost, this is the most important thing in our life because that relationship with ourselves is, um, you know, we're with ourselves 24-7. We're not with anyone else any more than we are with ourselves our entire life. And so, you know, this could even be about you developing that relationship with yourself. But, phew, boy, oh boy, that's pretty cool. Okay, so um, next we will... Pull two cards for Nest. Tell me more about Nest for Taurus, please. Strength. I'm taking this card here. Strength. Yeah. Okay. Um, strength. Look, this is you um, rebuilding yourself. This is the strength that it is taking for you to do this. Um, and also, you know, taming that... Um, that that thing inside of you that just you know is um sometimes you feel is out of control okay and you could also say you know the bull in the china shop um learning to tame that you know so that it can walk into the china shop and not smash everything up um so to speak <laughs> okay but this could be um maybe this because some of you may feel like there's been an injustice and it could be a little bit like, why me? Um, so I feel like maybe this is about you releasing that and learning um, to <clears throat> I want to say tame that, but I, I also want to say to us that it's important obviously to heal it. Okay, so this could be the healing that it is required to take. This could be you um regulating your emotions co-regulating yourself so that you give yourself the love that you need in order to receive this beautiful beautiful state on your life this is something that is there for you okay um yeah yeah um, we also have the four of hearts here. So um, try not to focus on what it is that you've lost in the past because you have the ace of hearts here. Okay, and um, yeah, this is not focusing on the heartache so much so that you can actually accept this love into your life. 
okay very 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 important okay um so look be enchanted with your life's potential seek and find know and discover and this is what is there to be sought and found okay that's beautiful and absolutely what you deserve here Taurus okay so yeah I'm going to leave that with you take care of your beautiful selves see you bye bye